Hello my YouTube family. This is Anthony and I'm here with a large Dollar Tree haul. It's pretty large so I want to jump right into it to try to go as fast as I can. Um, thank you for stopping by and clicking on this video. I appreciate you, all my subscribers, my new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. So first we'll start off with these new items at my Dollar Tree. And these are the fashion keychains. So I picked up uh, three of the hearts. And they all are hanging on gold chains, like the gold hardware. Um, this is, I mean, it's like a... It's a fake leather, maybe more plasticky than anything, but there's a the gold. They also had it in the silver. Also, this pink, it's like a bubblegum pink. And then they had the flower ones. I only picked up two of the flowers. They had it in pink as well. But I picked up this like mint green, greenish blue. And then I also picked up the lavender. These are really cute. They can go on uh, your purse. You can put your keys on them. You can um, send them off in friend mail. That'll go great in an Easter basket. So I got those. I found these cute little uh, notepads. These are from Crown Jewels. I only picked up three, three of them so far. And I think there's a whole line of this stuff coming out, but my Dollar Tree just only had out the little notepads. So this one has the unicorn on it, and it says "Be Unique." very pretty pattern and it has a magnetic closure oh it's cute it has the the um, unicorn and it says be unique on each page and it is lined very nice so I picked up that one I also picked up it says Anna Davis for Crown Jewels, so this must be her line. This one says Make the World Go Round. And then on the bottom, on the paper, it says Love Makes the World Go Round. So those are really pretty. And then the last one here says... I never met a mistake I didn't learn from. Well, that's the truth. And then it says it on the bottom as well. Can you see that? Those are nice. Okay. I found the felt ribbon. And I picked up four of them. I picked up the purple and you get six feet this is has the rose um, like die cut roses and I, I like this I've used the the red and pink that they came out with a year or two ago so I got the purple then I got this turquoise and the turquoise is flowers and then I got this green, and it also is roses. And then I got the like hot pink, which is butterflies. So those will come in handy for my spring crafts. I picked up one roll of the lace ribbon. And you get three yards of that. 
And the other ribbon I picked up was Easter. Easter ribbon. So I picked up this one. Really pretty. I picked up this one here. And the lavender. I think that's all I picked up with the ribbon. I'm just grabbing. I have a pile of stuff here. So I'm just grabbing whatever I can get to without everything falling. So the next item I picked up were these Cool A Chalkboard Designs Wacky Block Erasers. And I thought I could use these for charms. I like the uh, Eiffel Tower one. There's a cupcake and I love the unicorn one. I may use that to make a charm for my uh, junk journal. You get nine erasers in a package. And I found these new erasers. They're by Mylan Pacific. You get 12. And these are uh, like a tropical. There's lemon, limes, pineapple, coconuts, and something else. I don't know what it is, but these are cute. These would also make cute charms. And then I picked up this fun one with the unicorns. You get two of each of these as well. Um, there's the unicorn, the cactus, the rainbow, the diamond ring, and the donuts. Really cute. I probably will pick up some more of these. My girls already want them, so I'll grab some more of those. Let's see. Oh, I have so much stuff. I picked up this cute magnetic list pad from Jot. It has the pie down on the bottom. I thought that would be cute for like a recipe junk journal or even just to throw on the refrigerator. Yeah, you get 60 sheets. I found these cute owl stickers by Jot. You get nine of them. Nice vibrant colors. I picked up three of the Jot self-adhesive stencils. Picked up this one with the uh, feathers and like a I don't know, floral or bohemian print, something like that. And these are nice. You can cut them apart and use them. Uh, I picked up the butterflies. That will be great for my spring projects. And then I picked up this one with the roses. Sorry for the glare, and I'm hoping it's not too dark. When I film in the basement in my craft area, it's kind of dark but I'm hoping you can see the items well enough. So I got that. Then I got some more Jot stickers. This is the princess the princess theme. I picked it up because I saw that cute unicorn in there. <clears throat> so very cute. These could be used in your planner or you can do a themed pocket letter or just you can use them on anything really so you get 50 in that package and they they do have glitter and this package is another glitter package and this is the mermaid theme and you also get 50 of these I picked up a couple of the coloring books this one says my heart is like a singing bird so it's inspiring quotes to color the original price on this was $7.99 and that was a bargain price they say but really really nice one-sided so you can tear these out and frame them if you'd like you can use these to make a flip book actually it's a perfect size so I got that I also picked up this one it's called lost in color really thick book 
and these you can tear out and they're one-sided as well look at that elephant I know I don't need any more coloring books but I love picking them up I have gifted a lot of them away I like to throw them into gift baskets they're perfect to go into a older teenagers basket so yeah I always pick them up uh, repurchase for me is the jot stamp pads in black I picked up two of them one of them will be going to someone for a uh, challenge swap type of thing this is one of the items I like to use in my crafting so I picked up two of those I picked up one of these magnetic photo frames I really picked this up to see if I can use this for stamping I've seen where people say they use these but I think they usually use the one with the lip on it so it sits up but I just picked up this flat one to see if I can put some of my stamp my uh, clear stamps on it and use it as the stamp block you know to stamp so I'm going to try that out this is the 4x6 um, I was also thinking of picking up like the glass um, what do you call them cutting boards for like larger stamps but we'll see because I can always e uh, use some E6000 on the back and add like some knobs or something something to hold on to so we'll try that one day too I picked up some of this super glue foam mounting tape double-sided mounting tape great to have on hand for crafting and you get um, six feet of this and it says it's acid free photo safe was lignin free and it's permanent so I like that um, let's see I picked up this puzzle and it's the Eiffel Tower love that I'm gonna put this together and glue it and frame it probably and put it in my bedroom I said before I've decorated my side of the bedroom with Paris theme and I just love it I finally picked up something to put on my husband's side of the room I do most of the decorating on my side because he doesn't care but I picked him up this this sign to go on his side I think the wood grain look makes it look kind of masculine and um, this mint green color is the color I use in our bedroom so it says love lives here and the little arrow so I thought that was cute yeah I've been into these signs lately so I grabbed some from Walmart and then I've got a couple I got a couple spring Easter ones to show you as well but I'll show you those once I get to the Easter stuff uh, I picked up a package of the six bags of sequins this is also for the um, challenge or swap I forget how it's labeled but yeah I picked up a couple of these cool scents air fresheners um, I like to put these in my car under the car seat oh and it smells so good when you open up your door you get that burst of cherry and these last for quite a while so I have a few of these I've already put one in the car and this will be another backup I like those I pick them up when I see them because they go fast okay I picked up two well three candles one I've already burned upstairs and I mean it's not a huge throw but I really like the jar and it's the green and yellow jar and I can't remember the scent but I think it has like coconut in it the little paper in the top half fell out when I got home and I couldn't find it so I'm not sure of the actual name but it's the green ombre green and yellow I think it is so I picked up that one and I picked up this one which is Bahama Breeze and these are a soy blend candle three ounce and I love that blue and 
purple ombre effect and it smells good um, but I can just use the containers once I burn them then I picked up one of the old Williamsburg candles this is the berry what is that berry trifle or I think scented candle I love the little uh, mason jars and this one smells really good I mean it's not very strong but really soft fruity smell I found some of the nail stickers I found this beautiful turquoise and this is from sassy and chic you get 19 so I got that pattern and then I also picked up this fun pattern with the purple black and white I picked up some of the fragrance boosters I picked up three three of them and these are the fresh scent love these and they are a repurchase this is a 15 ounce um, container they really smell good so I got three of those and then I picked up two of these uh, smaller ones they're four four point five ounce and they're in the citrus the citrus scent so I picked up two of those also a repurchase I like them both so I grab those I picked up some more Snugadoo socks. I just love these soft socks and my feet are always cold so picked up two two more pairs of these while the store still had some. You know once they're gone they don't come back until it starts getting cold again at my store anyway. Okay I picked up a bunch of the Bolero products for Easter baskets. So Easter baskets and Mother's Day baskets. I make a lot of baskets to sell so I started picking items up. So I picked up this French lavender and citrus body wash and that is a new scent at my store. I also picked up the bath bombs. You get a three pack of bath bombs so I got that and these are new the three packs and then I also picked up the facial wipes and then I picked up the body cream for a set I didn't get everything in the sets because I want I need a lot and I didn't want to have to spend so much to put these baskets together so I got that set and I will be picking up some more. I like the face wipes for myself, so I will be getting some for me. I picked up the body wash and the English rose. I picked up the body cream and the bath bombs. <clears throat> and also the facial wipes. And then I just picked up these facial wipes and I believe I got these from myself um, because I didn't get anything else with these yet so I got the Moroccan mint and raspberry and then I got the Italian pear so I will keep these for myself okay, I found this back scratcher I have an old wooden one that my son usually keeps but this is a two in one you get the shoehorn and then you get the back scratcher so I thought that was something handy to have so I grabbed that let's see here I found these chocolate chip cookies now I purchased a few of them 
I picked up two of this Chewy. The, this is the Chewy ones. And it's chocolate chip cookies. says with real chocolate chips. Now I have to say I didn't really care for these. These They seem really dry to me. And um, they're still sitting upstairs in the cabinet. So I don't think anybody else really cared for them either. So I don't know. So I grabbed two of these. And so here's one. And then I grabbed one of the chunky. I really don't have high hopes for them now that the chewy ones were so dry. Um, but yeah, there's the chunky. And then they also had the original. So yeah, probably just wasted my money on those. I picked up another package of the sugar-free almonettes. I mean, these are okay. I think I think they're pretty good for sugar-free. So this is a repurchase. I've already had one here. Well, actually, I have it down here next to me when I'm get hungry and starts wanting something to snack on. There's two left in here. So I ate them. Okay, what else did I get? I picked up oh, probably about seven bags of these now and laters. I've given given some away already. I gave my my oldest son a bag and then my second oldest son a bag. And then we have one upstairs that's already been opened. And then here. So this this is three, four, five. Here's one that I opened. I opened this one to see the flavors. All of them have different different flavors. So this one has the extreme sour apple, um, blue raspberry, sour apple. I think I said that one already. Um, there is Tropical Punch, Pink Lemonade, and that one. I'm just going to check real quick and see what's in this one. Because the bag that we opened previously had some other flavors in it. Yeah, like this one has a what is that, grape. Strawberry, blue raspberry. So yeah, I would pick these up because these would be great for Halloween. They're going to go into some Easter baskets. But I mean, if you throw them in the freezer, let's see the expiration date. I mean, they're good till uh, January of 2020. So these would be great to put up until Halloween. This mango guava. So, yeah, I'm hoping I can find some banana ones. Oh, and look at, I just, is that banana? Oh, yes. I just found a banana. I love banana. Those are my favorite. I'm going to keep that one out for me. So, yeah, good deal on these banana ladies. You get a whole pound of the full packages of banana ladies. So, you can't beat that. And then, let's see. I picked up a bag of the So Natural, and this is a new one in our store. Um, it is the mixed fruit. I love these free freeze-dried fruit. I usually buy uh, the strawberries are my favorite. This one has a mixture of strawberries. When is that? Blackberries. Uh, banana, strawberry, and mulberry. So mix these up with some nuts or something and have a little on the go snack so I got one of those and then the last items I'm going to show right now because this uh, video is quite long I'll put the Easter and spring items into a separate video because this is pretty long um, I picked up a package of this bumblebee lemon and pepper seasoned tuna it comes with the spoon great protein so I grabbed that one and then I grab the spicy Thai chili and this one has 13 grams of protein so thank you all if you st stuck in there with me through this 
this haul. I appreciate it. And um, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite item was in this haul. And then until the next, the next video, God bless. Bye-bye.